everyone, it's Josh from the Polly Schmidt Violin Shop and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, I get to take you on a journey through what I have in my viola case. I actually have two bags. I have my actual viola case as well as a separate music bag that I carry with me. So you get a little bit of bonus of what's in my case and my music bag. PSA, if you are looking for things for your own case and own musical gear, I did not get all of these things at the same time. You kind of collect things over time, figure out what you need and what are priorities for you, and I'm still collecting and figuring out what exactly I need. But hopefully this video gives you an idea of some things that you might need in your own case. Now, a lot of the things that are in my case are available for sale here in the violin shop. So in the description box, I will have listed all the items that are available for sale with the links to where you can buy them right online. Let's get started. I'm gonna start by going through my actual viola case. I have a BAM France case, both a BAM hoodie as well as an actual case. The hoodie is an extra layer of protection from the elements, um, and it also keeps my case nice and not scratched up as well. The BAM case that I have is the La Defense High Tech uh, Viola Compact case. Um, so it's actually a little bit more compact than their standard viola case. Um, and it is a hard case with an airtight seal, which I find very important, especially living in Minnesota. You wanna make sure that your instrument is safe from temperature, from rain, as well as humidity, which is the big thing. An easy way to customize your own case is to put stickers on it. It's a very popular way. So I actually have a sticker kind of here with my own name as well as a Carmen Bruna sticker. Now when you actually open up the case, the first thing that you'll kind of notice are pictures. I have one of my friends here as well as a family photo. And the other important thing in my case is my actual instrument. I keep my instrument um, in a silk bag and this is where Carmen Bruna comes in. She is a Spanish bag maker and actually hand makes every single one of these silk bags. Silk is a very absorbent material and really helps in controlling temperature as well as humidity. The bag itself has a drawstring down at the bottom and then has an extra ribbon up here. Let me get to the actual instrument. When I take off my bag, here is the actual instrument that I have. Um, I play on a modern contemporary instrument. This instrument was made in 2016 uh, for the Violin Society of America Scholarship Auction. Two things that are on the instrument that I customize, are actually three, um, the strings that I use. I personally use Ava Parati gold strings. Primarily being a performer and a recitalist, I need something that is going to be very round and very deep in tone, but still is going to project. The other two things that are on my instrument are my performance mute and this right on my chin rest. So this here is what you call a strad pad. It's this kind of plush material that sits right on top of the chin rest and it adds as a little bit more comfort and for me a little bit more height because I have a really long neck. It also gives a little bit more friction um, so that the instrument doesn't slide off. The performance mute that I have is the Beck Magnetic Performance Mute and down at the bottom here on the tail piece um, there's this little magnetic kind of strip here you can kind of see with the white against the white. Um, it's this little strip that sits right on your tailpiece. So when I'm not playing, the performance mute actually just sticks right there. So it doesn't rattle around and then when I use it, it goes right on there. The next thing that I have in my case is my bow. Um, this is an old, older German bow that was on consignment actually here at the violin shop. Love this bow to death. Um, I play on a wood bow. I should get a carbon fiber bow and I'm starting that search soon. Um, but for now, I have this wooden bow. Right under the bow is this plastic little tube, and this is what we call a string tube. Now the string tube holds, you guessed it, strings. I replace my strings every six months, and so what happens is that the current set, so instance, if I'm switching my strings today, this set of strings, the older strings, will actually go into the tube, and the strings in the tube then will go into recycling. So I have that constant cycle of renewing strings, um, and I always have a set of backup strings as well, which is important. The next item in my case is my shoulder rest. I personally use the Parastro Korfka rest. It's light as a feather. The wood on it is actually a flexible maple. You can actually bend the wood using obviously very careful techniques to bend it, um, but it contours right to my shoulder. The other thing is that, again, having a long neck, um, the feet do tend to go a little higher than most uh, shoulder rests, which is really important to kind of bridge that gap. The other cool technology is the feet. The feet have extra layers of rubber that are raised um, so that the feet and no rubber touches any resonating wood. So any wood past the purfling on the outer edge as well as the ribs. The next thing that I have in my case is my polishing cloth um, or one of my polishing cloths. So 
I personally use the Beaumont cloths. They're amazing cloths. They are an untreated microfiber polishing cloth. They're really nice because they can go in the wash. So whenever you're done wiping rosin off and it gets really built up, you can just throw it in the wash with the rest of your laundry and it comes out brand new. The other thing is that it does, in my opinion, take off rosin very well. It takes it off very easy as well as leaves no residue. They come in multiple different designs. So I actually carry the other designs here in my case in case my cloth gets way too rosined up. So I have my other ones here. Um, I kind of have an obsession with them. From there is my humidity system. So I have two ways of humidifying my instrument. The first is my Boveda pack. Boveda packs are made right here in Minnesota. They keep and maintain the humidity in your case without you having to do absolutely anything. If it's too humid in the case, it will absorb moisture and then it will release it again if it gets uh, not humid enough. I will also write the date on it as well. Um, you just need to replace it every six months and it works great. And in the winter, I will aid the Boveda pack with my own humistat. I use this because unlike other things, it won't suck in moisture. It'll only release it and my Boveda pack makes sure that it's stabilized, but this gives it an extra boost. The next item in my case is my accessory pouch. The first thing is extra pads um, for my press or cork press. A pencil, always have a pencil on you, very important. My current rosin, I am currently using the Ava Prozzi Gold Rosin. I have my Korg TM60 Metro Tuner. I have an extra pack of mints. I have an extra bridge. I have extra parts. The Korg Rest comes with specific parts that you can extend and customize it, as well as particular screws and screwdriver. I have an extra pack of lead. I have a thing of peg dope in here, which is used for the pegs. Uh, if the pegs get too dry and they get a little sticky, um, you just put it on there. And I have an extra chin rest um, screwdriver or wrench. I have a practice mute. This is the Artino practice mute. Um, and it goes and encases the entire bridge like this. So it sits on there. It's really good for if you are practicing in an apartment late in the night or if you're practicing in a hotel before a gig, um, it's really important to have one of these. And the last thing that I have in my case is an extra thing of business cards. You never know who you're gonna run into when. Um, so I always keep a thing of business cards on me. Music, The music industry is very connection based. So when you get the chance, put your name out there, always have something. So that's everything that's in my viola case. Let's move on to my music bag. So here is my extra music bag. The first thing that I have is my iPad as well as my page turning pedal. I have an app downloaded on here that reads music. I use an extra Bluetooth pedal. This is the AirTurn Duo 200 pedal. The next thing in my bag is my planners. I actually have two planners. I have a planner for work for things I need to do at work, as well as a planner for my own life. This planner also has a tracker, so I can track when I practice, when I'm reading, when I'm doing things that I do every day. From there, I have two books um, that I keep on hand in case I am you know, at the airport, if I'm at a gig and I don't really wanna look at my phone or on social media, I always have two books with me. I have a thing of chapstick in here. I have an extra thing of hand cream. I always like to keep a snack on hand. If I just need something to boost my energy, good snack is always good. I have a bag of bobby pins. So if I need to just pin it back, have an extra thing of bobby pins as well. And then the other things are extra writing utensils. So I have two pencils, a black pen, if in case I need to sign anything. I have a highlighter. I oftentimes will recompose your biography. So if there's something important lined up, I will do this. I also use this in my own music as well. I will highlight different things in my music so it pops out. And the last thing that I have in my bag is a stylus. This is to write notes on my iPad. So this is the Apple Pencil that I use. And that's everything that's in my music bag. And that is everything that is in my viola case. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Again, everything that's available for purchase at the violin shop is in the description box with links to where you can get it right online. If you have any questions about what's in my case or are looking for something, looking for strings, feel free to either comment um, or reach out to the violin shop. Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell notifications so that you are notified when we have a brand new video. Until the next video, keep practicing and goodbye. <laughs>